I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that you've never seen a backup camera install on something that never was supposed to have one look this clean. This is a backup camera I got out of a 2009 Buick Enclave. I also have the matching mirror for it as well because that's where the video pops up is in the rear view mirror. Now what's the, what you're looking at here is a hole made obviously and then it's got, I believe it's inch and a half square tubing on the inside which is how you have these rounded corners and then you have the walls all the way around it and then it's boxed on the back to mount the camera and it's super sturdy like it doesn't move at all and it should by the eye guesstimations that dad and I decided that this should be roughly the right angle notice that we couldn't actually put it directly the same angle as this because you'd be pointing way too much at the ground. So it's a little bit outwards, which should put you right where you want it. And notice it's not super close to the tailgate handle and that was actually for ease of installation. Because of where this plate sits, if you had it over, say over here, it would have been a little bit more difficult to make a plate. So you have a plate on the back camera on the front here and then when you come down here there's a hole where the wiring can come through so now here's the mirror i was talking about again it's out of a 2009 buick enclave but it's actually the same mirror that gm used for a few years in that range before they kind of had touch screens and everything they had their backup cameras in the mirror right in this spot here and then obviously right now you can't see it but they have it designed in a way that when you put it in reverse, the image will pop up. So I pulled it out and then I actually figured out the wiring. There's three wires that go directly from camera to mirror. And then you have a power and a ground, ignition source and a ground obviously, to both camera and mirror. And then you need a reverse signal that goes, hooks into your reverse lights basically so that when you put it in reverse, it'll trigger this to turn on and it'll trigger the camera to activate. So I had it all kind of wired up here just to test it and it does work. So now what I'm actually gonna do is this is a four wire trailer wiring. You can see it's all, it's stuck together, four wires in a row. So I'm gonna end up running that from front to back because three of those are gonna end up being for the camera signal, like I said. And then I'll have one more that'll be my ignition signal because the ground signal and the reverse signal will both already be at the back in the rear lights harness. So I got to run this now and then I'll end up running it up under the dash. I'll get my ignition signal under there and then I'll run three wires up the A-pillar, across and then down to where the mirror will get mounted.
So round that wiring all the way down the frame rail, up under the footwell, and then through the firewall, and now it's through here. So one of these I'm gonna cut off, and it's gonna end up going somewhere under the dash here for ignition power. And then the other three will get ran up this A-pillar trim, so I'll have to pull that back off. And then it'll run over to there, and then end somewhere around there, and then once I get the mirror mounted, I can wire the plug onto it and figure out how long it really needs to be. So I got the wires ran up the pillar, and then I got this loosely installed. I still have to tuck the wires under it, obviously. And then I got it wired up to the mirror plug, and then I wired, I uh, plugged the mirror in. I also kind of temporarily put the wiring together in the back to get the camera to work, pulled it out of the tailgate and plugged it in. So now, key is on right now, which is why this green light is on. And then when we go to put it in reverse, we get the image which is exactly what it's showing at the back. It's pointing up towards the roof. And then when you put it back in park, it actually stays on for a couple seconds and then it goes off, which is exactly like it is in the factory, which is perfect. So that means I can wrap all this up, make it all nice, I can run it under there. And then the last thing, I'll have to mount the mirror mount to the windshield. Now I need a special mirror mounting kit to do that. I don't have that. So hopefully I'll pick that up tomorrow and then that'll be the last, last step for mounting a new style mirror into an old truck. for an update it's been a couple days still haven't been able to track down a mirror mounting kit that's what happens when canadian tire says they have something in stock when they actually don't so in the last time apps you saw i wrapped this up i tightened this fully so the headliner trim is now 100 done just need sun visor done and then i actually found my dome light base i painted that up black and then i have a euro clear i believe is what they call it uh, it's kind of a fancy dome light lens, it came from LMC truck and it uh, really completes the whole roof here. Like I said, other than sun visors, the roof inside is done and just that little touch of the dome light looks really, really good. So if I do end up finding that mirror mounting kit, I will put that in the next video, which means this video is going to end here. So I want to thank you for watching. Hopefully this helped if you want to put a backup camera on something old. It's really not that hard, surprisingly. Just need to know a little bit about wiring and you can figure it out pretty easily so so be sure to subscribe be sure to like the video if this helped you be sure to comment if you want to do so and so with that we're going to see you in the next one